really, it's really built me right here. It's made me the fighter who I am today. Let's get this party started! This is boxing! This is top rank! So we don't do nothing but killers around here. <laughs> Got a guard dog waiting, at, waiting on y'all. We soon as I walk through the door, man. Second time fighting here in New York. It just is a blessing and, and I feel amazing. I feel amazing. I'm happy. I'm, I'm ready to go and, and excited to put on a show for everybody. I'm going to the Nick game. I'm going to go see my boy Obi Toppins. I want him at least to do one, I'm gonna tell him, yo, you gotta do one fire dunk for me. Cause you know he won the dunk contest. So he gotta do one fire dunk for me. I love the Knicks, bro. Just like I love the Yankees. They don't want to me, so you gotta support them, you know? Hey, you one? Good man, we we seen the first half. But you know, we got a fight Saturday, so you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go check them out this yeah, week coming. Yeah, after the fight, yeah. after the victory, we're gonna check them out. Yeah, it was fun, you know. The Knicks, New York. We dreaming about this, man. We come through. We're going to the top floor of the Stewart Hotel. We're gonna get a great view from the city. Uh, the superstar right here is gonna get the superstar treatment. Don't know how to open the door. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> looks so tiny out here. I feel I feel amazing. Um, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. You know, nice views. What else can I ask for? Man, I got a lot to fight for. Um, well, first off, my family, most definitely. Myself, because if I don't fight for myself, who will, right? Um, also, Puerto Rico. I mean, I fight for a lot. I fight for a lot, but most definitely my family. That's the number one reason. I just, I just want my parents and my, my future kids and my sister and everybody that loves me and is in my close circle will be proud of me, you know? I'm sure that, that they, they, they could tell you that they are proud and I know they are, but I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not, I'm not satisfied with what I've done yet. I want to leave a legacy in the sport. For that reason, I just, you know, I just stay, stay centered, stay focused, stay humble because I know where I come from. I know what, I, what it took for, for me and my family to be here and it's just it's just a, it's just a pleasure and, and and really exciting times for for us so we can't I can't let I can let this you know skip through my hands you know you get in the ring and it's like it's just, it's go time you know you gotta you gotta show everybody that that it, all the hard work all the dedication is paying off and that you could be a monster in there like just like just like Edgar you know oh. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> So listen, when you come to New York, right? Yeah. To New York. Yeah. So you know when you need to New York, you need you need some stuff, right? You know what's yeah. like the, the care package from New York, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got the Yankee, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. So the that. Yankee right here. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. And then got we got the tip. Appreciate you, man. But this is stuff that Edgar gave me after the fight. You know, kind of like a. Welcome to New York. Um, he got me the hat, he got me the Tim's. Having Berlanga, you know, backing me up, it, 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 feels, it feels good because, you know, he's a guy that is coming, he's also coming up. You know, he's he's doing great things um, for, for not just in New York, but for, you know, in, in the world, for Puerto Rico. And and knowing that we got each other's back, it's like, we can, we can rely on each other. Anything we need, we're gonna be there for each other. And, Edgar, Edgar is just a really, really humble and respectful guy.
but one word to describe this park right here is pain. I used to really sit there and cry, but at the end of the day, it's what yeah, it is. Man, we fight the day, you shake the head, because I, I used to go hard on him, man, like hard, man. And then, then he just took over. So now it's like, you know what I mean, like I told him the other day, like, yeah, there's many things I, I, I could talk to you about now, but remember, now boxing ain't one of them. Like, he could actually have a conversation where he could override me in boxing. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? You know what I'm saying? Where you could say, yo, dad, no, 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 no. I, and I got to listen, because why he has the experience now, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gonna walk to this part. They gonna be like, yeah, this kid is in this part. I mean, a lot of them that's been here for years gonna be like, yeah, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see a statue coming to this park? Hopefully. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm afraid if you want to, I am because of who we all are. You know what I mean, I wear it too. I don't just say it. You want to, I am because of who we all are. You know what I'm saying? This is where they, this is where they train. Before Ken Dada started training them, because you know he used to get sick, and I trained him for a fight, he won. Kenny said, when I leave here, I want you to train him. Don't give him to nobody. He used to tell me that all the time. Don't give him to nobody. I, this kid's going to be a world champion. I, I remember because Iron Barkley came to his funeral, and Iron was like, yo, this the little kid I've been, been hearing about, Kenny been talking about the whole time. This is the old gym right here. Yeah, yeah it's the old Star City right here. They removed the sign off the door. They did the sign off the door and stuff. They locked this up though, you feel me? That if that door wasn't open, you feel me? If the door wasn't open, then you have to open the door. I don't know if you can do it no more. They, they, they changed the door, it seems, so it's a different type of door now, you feel me? Yeah. Before, you could kick it open. Mm. You kick it open, you go inside. You open everything up, you feel me? And then you just run run up to 17th floor, right back down. And depending on how mad coach was or how much you're supposed to do, you was either there for like, the, for like an hour. He's in there for a quick amount, you feel me? I yeah. feel like... Other world class athletes, they wouldn't even do nothing like that. He was doing this as, as a kid. kid. Yes, we was like uh, from seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Mm. You feel me? So when we started training, we didn't know nothing else but to like go crazy, you know? That's that's just how, that's why it's so normal. I, I told you guys, every time I go in the ring, I never, my worries is not the ring, you feel me? My worries is not winning or losing. I know I'm gonna win. It's all about how I look, you know? And um, how long it's gonna go, that's about it. March 19th, Mad Square Garden, tune in ESPN Plus. I can go 7 and no put another show, it's a fact. I'm 64 years old and I'm still doing it. Jahar came to the gym and he had the enthusiasm and he, you know he was always there. He always came in and, and worked and he trained and he worked hard, you know. He listened very well. He listens to his coach, he listens to his dad, you know, which is a good thing. I tell him, I don't care if you hit him on the elbow, hit him. Just make him pack. Right. Do pack. something, you know. So that's basically, you know, how we started out, you know. I was like a kid, like seven years old, hitting this bag. And I used to cry on this bag. I used to sit in this bag. If my pops told my coach he didn't like what he seen, I had to do another round. And it, it's, really, it's really built me right here. It's made me the fighter who I am today. Jaha had to be about five or six, I think it was. And uh, he was a little timid when he first came into the gym. But then um, Coach Kenny took him under his wing and made him uh, what he is today, the star and the uh, standout that he is. As far as me, as far as I want to be right there, I'm going to get a picture somewhere over here one day, you feel me? It always feels great, you know? Because it always brings me back to when I started. I never thought I'd be this far, at least this fast, you know? And um, it always brings back Coach Kenny, you feel me? My coach who passed beforehand, he always told me, yo, you could be a world champion. And this is where he started training me at. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hulu Theater inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. You know me, I don't like to do none of that chit chat. <laughs> At the end of the day, we gotta we gotta get in there on Saturday, so I really don't give a. <laughs> but if he wanna get, which I doubt he will, but you know, I'm ready for anything. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone tuning in. This all goes down Saturday, March 19th. We're gonna begin the broadcast at 7.15 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus. And then we move over to the network at 10 o'clock Eastern, ESPN. Man, I'm super excited. First fight of the year, eight rounders, great opponent. Um, that's what we was looking for. 
and I'm ready to put on a show Saturday night. I feel like he's a good fighter, but I'm going to take him to that to the different level, like to show him that he is a different ball game this way. Everybody, it's not much to say. Tune in Saturday night ESPN. We're putting on a show. Ready to blow the roof off this this place, man. Like for real, you know. I'm I'm just ready to explode and uh, you know fireworks like always. No, I think um, you know he wants to step up, uh, get closer to a world title shot. He wants to, he wants a challenge, and that's why they chose me. I'm sure he could have took an easier route. But um, credit to him for, for picking um, an opponent of my, ca my caliber. Listen, you know, I'm the main event, king of New York. Let's sell this place out, man. You know, we're looking forward to selling it out, making history once again. Just tune in this Saturday, man. It's going to be fireworks. What's going to happen now is we are going to do some face-offs. Quincy Lavalle, Xander Zayas. Steve Rolls, Edgar Berlanga. New tradition at the Garden, you guys are the first two, first one here. History again. History, wow. you guys are making history all over the place here. Uh, for our guys who fight yeah, here, it's, it's oh, the only way to get them is to fight here at the Garden. Yeah. One of one's custom sneakers for you. Nice. Man. These are going up. Ooh. I don't want to see those on eBay, man. No, 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 I'm putting these <laughs> in a case, what? This is crazy. Air Berlangas. Yeah, man. But thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Enjoy. This is right here. This is going into a case. Damn. Chosen ones. Nice, yo. Now I could tell my son. This was my uh, my first pair of shoes from the garden, right? <laughs> Guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow to watch the weigh-ins. Tomorrow is just about weighing in and having fun, going to eat. Watch this weigh in and put on a show Saturday night. Thank you.